Hello, welcome back to part 43 of this Airbnb clone Ruby on Rails series. So in last video, we created many to many relationship between property and amenity. And this video is going to be a short because I've done the preparation work already. Uh, because I thought if I will create a video for this, it would take like 30 minutes to one hour and it would be a waste of time. I'll just show you what I did. I went to one or two properties went to each and every icon, clicked right, uh, right click, inspect and from SVG I copied this element, let's say copy element then I go, went to our code in that app assets images and amenity icons named the file for example temp.svg and in that I pasted this so that we can see this icon okay we have already done that so I'll delete this at the same time you can go through uh, previous videos to check that we have already done that so after doing that for like 30 40 <coughs> amenities this is what we got we have these many svgs in our amenity icons okay and along with that i have added them in our amenities data in seeds.rb file also okay we earlier we had four of them now we have like 30 40 of them so let's move ahead and add these amenities to our property so for that earlier we were going through each and every property and in that property property now this length will be approximately let's see 50 10 approximately 39 40 uh, so let's keep at least 10 amenities okay and let's raise db reset only reset is needed because we are just set resetting the data and nothing else has changed so let's see how it goes in this video i'll just add the data and once that all those things are done then in next video we'll move on to a ui part okay Active record, record not unique. Okay, duplicate. Okay, if you remember in last video, we added unique constraint for uh, amenity ID and property ID, and here we are randomly adding it, that's why it's creating issue. So, how can we fix this? Amenity is equals to What I'll do is I'll create a set. Amenity set is equals to set dot new. And unless this amenity, unless amenity, wait, amenity dot includes. amenity set dot includes amenity dot id unless this set has this amenity id wait it gets kind of confusing if amenity set includes amenity id then we don't want this and that's why we have unless here correct i, I was thinking correctly but it got confusing so if our amenity set does not have this amenity id that means we can add it to our property okay so let's do this along with that once that property has been added then in amenity set we will add amenity dot id so for example amenity id the currently this data set is empty amenity id is 10 this amenity set does not contain id 10 and that's why we can add it to our properties and in our amenity set we will add 10 now now again this loop goes on and then again it hits 10 for example here the amenity is again 10th one so it will be included in our amenity set and that's why this code will not get executed okay hopefully i'm right or it's if let's see let's see it will take time let's see 
This is part 43. Let me note it down. It failed. Includes. I have used includes and I have to use include. Okay. Let's reset. Uh, I'm writing amenity. Dummy. Data. In next video, we'll focus on the UI part. Oh, sorry. Everything is working, it seems. Rails C. Uh, bin. Nope. What was I focusing on? Okay, property. Property dot first dot amenity m n i t i e s and we have like maybe we can do one thing let's exit this clear rail c amenities dot count in this we have 15 in last property we have 15 10, 25, and we already had that unique constant. That means they are all unique. Okay, looks good. Let's exit this clear. So we have our dummy data setup. Uh, this is a short video. And now you can go to my, let me comment this. Get branch part 43 right so get check out dash b part 43 amenities dummy amenities data i won't write dummy because i've created good content here good data get add get commit dash out. Get push origin this get check out main let me update my main also get merge this get push origin main get branch clear and you can find this entire code on github let's go to github dot rt494 that airbnb and that you can go to app folder, assets, images, amenity icons, and you can download all of them. Is there a shortcut? No, there is no shortcut. So in that case, you can go to the repository, either clone it or download it as is, and then access these icons. And at the same time, you can go to our database and seeds file and in that either copy the entire one or copy this amenities data this is same and this amenity set data okay so i hope it it works for you and in next video we will we'll focus on the ui part let me quickly check the ui we just have to show a couple of amenities here we won't show this uh, not included amenities later on i might uh, explain you how you can do it easily uh, but we won't show it okay that's it thank you bye bye